letting go to raise your vibration hey guys my name is christian welcome back to another one that's what i want to help you guys out with is learning what to let go of because i believe that deep down we're all who we have always truly wanted to be deep down at our core you know and going throughout life picking up negative beliefs and picking up negative patterns can make it feel like can make it feel like we have a lot of like weight on our shoulders it's almost like i'm wearing armor you know like i put on this armor so i don't get hurt and now I'm realizing that this armor doesn't serve me anymore. For a time it did. For a time it helped me not get hurt and it helped me keep me safe. But for now, like in this moment now in my life, I'm looking to expand, I'm looking to grow. And I'm looking to raise that vibration that I have within me. So it's learning to let go of that armor and let that light shine through so I can actually be the person that I wanna be. I can actually be aligned with myself as I go out throughout throughout life and pursue things and make goals, I can actually be myself and I'm not putting on a facade and going after going after these different pursuits, just being someone that I'm not, you know, that when you start to just really be yourself and let all those things go, you can come at those things from an aligned place within you. And I find it's a it's a much greater place to start from. And the first thing I want to get into is learning to let go of outcome. You know, learning to for me it's learning to take action regardless of what's gonna happen. That's one of my big crutches for me is, is outcomes. It's like, it's a crippling feeling when you're going out into the world and you're trying to make personal interchange, personal new beliefs, and you go out there. And it's like, it's easy to talk it up, but once you get into the moment, it's like, wow, this is incredible, like incredible sensations that I'm feeling. It's really hard to get through it. Like you're witnessing all your blocks all at once and it can feel scary as heck. But what really does help me is knowing that on the other side of that fear is my expansion. I try to remind myself of that all the time. Like on the other side of that is where I can grow. And staying on this side of it where I'm scared is not going to help me grow. It's just it's only going to make me hurt more and more. But I find the more and more I try to ignore my impulses and forget them, the harder and harder it gets to really be in that flow and really just try to find the right things to say and do when I'm blocked off, all my intuition's blocked off and I have no, it's like it's a circulating system but it just keeps on coming back to me, you know, it's not really, I'm not really making any expansion. So that's why I want to help you guys out with is learning to let go of that outcome dependency because when you learn, it's like it's easy to, it's one thing to say let go, it's another thing to actually do it. I feel like it's an actual practice you have to do I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about how it's instant, and I I've, I've, I wish I could say that. I really wish I could. It is a choice in the moment to let go of your state of mind, for sure. But I think the emotions always remain. And it's for me, it's learning to still be able to let go within my mind and just realizing that I'm holding on to things. And a lot, still allowing those emotions to come. Like, for me, it's like getting into relationships with people when it doesn't work out. It's like deep down, my my mind knows that it wasn't going to work out. Like, it wasn't the right fit. It's like I'm smart enough to know that. And I'm smart enough to let go of that person. But at the same time, I still feel this pain, this emotion that I feel. And I feel like that's the growing pain. That's the growing pain. Maybe sometimes letting go can cause a growing pain. You know, like maybe you've never given yourself permission to let go of that before. Maybe you've never given yourself permission to feel that certain way instead of letting instead of dictate instead of your mind dictating how you feel, letting you, who, your heart what you truly believe in dictate how you feel. Maybe you've never done something like that before. So maybe that's why when we try to when we try to go out and do stuff like that, we, and we know about outcome dependency, we know we try to let go of it and we still feel that way. That's I think that's why. I think I think because I because I know I can let go of my outcomes. I know I can. You know, I know that other people can do that. And it's just that emotion's still there, so maybe it's still there to teach me something, you know? And that's what I want to help you guys out with, is learning to, that you can, once you can let go of a lot of the things that you need to happen, and just kind of go with the flow and allow things to come to you, allow like, this impulses to come to you, I find that you could be in a way better place now that, like I said before, you're aligned with who you are, and you're also not worrying about what people are thinking, that you're also not worrying about, like, the outcome of what's gonna happen. The next thing I want to get to is not worrying about what other people are thinking about you. Not worrying about getting approval from everybody else because secretly, you know, the reason why we feel, why you might feel a little bit lonely on the spiritual journey is because not everyone takes that journey right now at the same time. And I don't feel like everyone's gone that path at the current moment. So 
if we it's it's, it's in a place of trying not to judge <laughs> sorry it's learning and it's like we don't why would we need the approval of other people who don't know what we're going through who don't know the same journey that you're on you know and that was a place where i was stuck for a long time it was i was in a long time i was stuck in a place of man i need to go out and be this person to get this kind of approval like i would wear a mask when i was in like school and stuff i, I had to fit in somehow like i wanted to find a group of people and in order for me to fit in i had to actually be someone that i wasn't you know i had to do the things that this group did i had to do the things that they like to do and I couldn't, I didn't give myself permission to be myself because I would lose that approval. And I heard this somewhere that we get, we are scared of getting kicked out of the herd. No one wants to feel left alone and kicked out of the herd and scared. So sometimes when people who are in the herd, when they see someone who's outside of it, you know, and they're just okay with it and they're just being themselves, it's, it would be natural for someone like that to judge someone for not being like them. You know, and I feel like that's just the state of the world that we're living in, the state of the world that's just run by fear, you know, and it, I, it's learning to not have so much judgment for people who do make those judgments towards me, you know, because like I totally get it. Like we're on different wavelengths, you're in a different part of life and so am I. I think you're allowed to not like people, but when it crosses the line of like disrespecting people and, and being rude, then that's where I draw a line, but I'm def you're definitely allowed to not... To, to not like people just like they're allowed to not like you that's def that's you're allowed to do that you know it's just and you're just like i said just for me what my philosophy is just not allowing that to seep into hatred you know not allowing this that, that to seep into the decisions i make towards them and it's really having a profound awareness of those thoughts in that moment to be able to achieve that really and it's just learning to not need their approval and be okay with them being mean to you you know, and not judging them for it, you know, because that's where they're at in life and that's where they feel. And it's okay to dislike people and, you know, and that's that's perfectly okay. But literally changing your actions because of the way you feel about them, like because you because you dislike them, changing your actions as in like act, actively being mean to someone. I feel like that's hurt. That's hurtful. I, I used to do that sometimes in some capacities when I was younger, when I didn't, when I saw things that didn't fit in, you know, I tried to judge it in a way. And it, it was not a great feeling. So I've been on each at each end of the spectrum. I've been judged for being myself, and I've also judged others. You know, and it's not a fun place to be. And once you can really let that go, and realize that you're on your own path, that you're on your own path, and so are they. And you, you don't have to worry about them approving of you just to be able to be liked, because you, and deep down you never really needed it. I know it feels like you need it because we crave human connection. You know. And the last thing I want to get into is negative self-talk. Learning not to beat yourself up in your head. My favorite term lately has been don't should all over yourself. <laughs> There's a moment where I was out a couple weekends ago. And for me, it's working on getting better at talking to people. Getting better at communicating with people. So like when I was in the moment about to talk to strangers, about to say something that I wanted to say. It's like I get this. I've had, I, it's, and when I fail to say it. I start thinking in my head, oh, I should have done this right. I should be like this. I should be more talkative like this. And it would put me into such this judgment state. Like I really, something where I didn't really didn't want to be. This place where I'm just judging myself and constantly just worrying about, like, it's almost like I'm bringing myself down. One of the main part of this is that when I was able to let go of that, because I've been working on self-talk for the days before. So I, when I caught myself, I was thinking in my head, no, I don't, I don't have to be, I don't have to should, you know, I can, I can, I can, I will. It's like, I will get there. I'm excited to get there. And when I was able to kind of shift that mindset and let go of that beating myself up mindset, I was actually able to receive the intuition a lot better. I was able to receive things that, to say, you know, because I was like, when I was shooting all over myself, I had all these like, anxious, worry, like stuttering thoughts, but when I went out, when I allowed myself to feel it, when I allowed myself to kind of shift my mindset through awareness, I was allowed, I was able to actually get the intuition and I was actually able to act upon it in a more aligned way. Yeah, you might still stutter, you might still, you know, that's part of taking imperfect action is not being exactly perfect the whole time, just going out there and doing it anyway, you know, and 
that's that's all the tips I wanted to get through. There's one last uh, thing I wanted to get through today, guys. I have um, one more, I guess, one more tip. I mean, letting go of your vibration is like your food. You know, there's a lot of foods throughout my life. I'd always been like a junk food eater, so I can, uh, that's one way you can actually raise your vibration is letting go of a lot of junk food stuff and a lot of stuff that doesn't serve you. Because for me, I had a lot of stomach problems, and I was going through lots of stomach and GI issues and I was realizing that it was all based off my diet that I, what I was eating and I, st I started to work on slowly implementing new things into my diet slowly implementing uh, like more vegetarian based stuff I looked up my blood type and my blood type is actually more like vegetarian based so I actually have a link in the description of my Amazon affiliate so I have actually a link in the description so I'm like to some supplements and some healthy stuff that you guys can actually look at I'll put that in a link in my description if you guys want to check any of that stuff out because that can really also help you raise your vibration too. Like even the kinds of food you eat could definitely have an effect on your vibration for sure because it's like you are what you eat, you know. And for me, I've been trying to do my best to switch that over and it just takes time. For me, it takes time. If I just can make the big jump right away, I'll freak out. But for me, I'm just taking the steps slowly, you know, slowly implementing better, better things into my diet to where I won't even feel the need for other stuff anymore. But that's all I wanted to get through today, guys. I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.